Cosmo was born in Florence, Italy in 1389, where he was born into a rich family. They were a part of major trades across Italy. This gave Cosmo an extra boost to push the Italian Renaissance forward. As Cosmo grew up, he used his dad's money to try and further their family's power and respect. Cosmo had huge ideas after his dad passed away. With this newfound fame and money, he started his first bank in Florence, as banks are still widely used today. Before Cosmo's ruling, his dad slowly moved up the power rankings and became one of the most wealthiest merchants and traders in Italy. As his dad gave Cosmo the family business, he turned his priorities into a new idea of banking. Becoming bankers, merchants, and traders gave the Medici family more power and money. But Cosmo wasn't satisfied. Cosimo wanted to have his foot in the political side of Florence. Doing this made his family even more powerful than before. Having a say in politics wasn't easy for him, as he tried to find loopholes in the system and bribed authorities to keep power in the family. Lastly, Cosmo spent money to hire master sculptors to create freestanding statues, and created academies to help his family stay educated. Cosmo hired many different artists and sculptors. Eventually, he hired a man named Lorenzo Ghiberti. Lorenzo later created the famous St. Matthew statue. Towards the end of Cosmo's life, Cosmo and his best friend Niccolo Nicolai collected manuscripts which were added to Cosmo's academy, where he passed the family business to his grandson Lorenzo de' Medici. One eternity later. Hey guys, now we're talking about Lorenzo di Medici, otherwise known as the Magnificent. He is the son of Piero di Medici and Lucrezia Tornabuoni, and of course the grandson of Cosmo. He was born on January 1st, 1449 in Florence, Italy. In Cosmo's later years, when Lorenzo was growing up, he saw great potential and decided to give Lorenzo the best education he could. Lorenzo studied in multiple languages including Greek, Latin, and he also studied philosophy. Once Cosmo died, Lorenzo was left to rule Florence with his brother Giuliano. After many years of the two of them ruling, Lorenzo angered the Pope, Sixtus IV, by refusing to pay for a small city called Imola. The Pope ended up getting the Pazzi family on board to buy the city, and he also convinced them to help rid Florence of the Medicis. They devised a plan to kill the two rulers, Lorenzo and Giuliano. Fortunately and unfortunately, they were only successful in killing Giuliano as Lorenzo was able to escape with just minor wounds. Since Lorenzo survived the conspiracy as some might call it, he emerged with an even better reputation. Besides being a ruler and basically surviving death, Lorenzo was also a talented poet. At the time, most poets would write in Latin, but Lorenzo chose to write in his native tongue Tuscany. This was a big deal at the time because poetry was only meant for people of higher class, and Lorenzo worked hard to make it accessible to all by writing in a language that a lot of people spoke. Another cool thing about Lorenzo is the fact that he's basically just really rich. He owned multiple villas which were basically just really big houses, and in one of those houses, he opened a school where the painter Michelangelo was raised. The last cool thing about Lorenzo is how he didn't just use his money for himself, but he also used it to help others improve their crafts. He patient painters like Sandro Botticelli, Domenico Gerlandio, and poets like Angelo Poliziano. Alrighty gamers, thank you for watching our renaissance video. Make sure to vote Anthony and Devin for renaissance idol.